And this is the India Today exclusive that sets the sporting agenda since the Justice Lodha Commission recommendations. Former BCCI president and a man respected as being one of the most transparent and honest and upright presidents of the BCCI. Shashank Manohar has broken his silence for the first time since the Lodha bombshell. He has strong words to say against the inaction of the BCCI and the role of N. Srinivasan. Listen in to this exclusive interview by India Today's consulting editor, Sports, Boria Majumdar. Are you disappointed with the way the board has conducted itself? Is it soft peddling on the issue? Actually speaking, according to me, there is a total inaction on the part of the board since 2013 when the scandal broke. Till today, I don't find any major decision taken by the board with regard to improve the reputation and credentials of the board. Should Mr. Srinivasan step down at this point in time for the sake of Indian cricket on grounds of moral propriety? According to me, he ought to have stepped down in 2013 itself, which I had said then because no individual can put himself ahead of an institution, howsoever great, efficient he might feel, because the institution in the game is always bigger. Because of his continuance, the image and the reputation of the board is seriously damaged, and the perception of the people in this country is that this board wants to uh, wrap everything under the carpet and do nothing. Are you of the opinion that Mr. Sundaraman ought to have also stepped down for, from the sake of for the sake of perception, at least for the sake of Indian cricket? According to me, the public perception is that Mr. Sundaraman is also involved. I am not here to decide whether Sundaraman is guilty or not guilty. But when the public perception is that he is involved, for the image of the board, as I always said that no, no individual is bigger than the game or the institution, Sundar Raman ought to have stepped down himself on his own accord when there were allegations made against him. Final question. Uh, you know, uh, very importantly, the BCCI has said that it will look into, it will analyze the recommendations of the Lodha Committee, rather not the recommendations, the findings of the Lodha Committee, and then take maybe form a subgroup on Sunday come the IPL Governing Council. But if we understand from the Supreme Court's order, the recommendations of the findings are binding. So what do you have to say to that? The BCCI will examine and then implement. According to me, there is nothing is to be examined because the Supreme Court judgment says that whatever are the recommendations of LODA committee, they are final and binding as far as the board is concerned. So there is no question of board looking into the recommendations of LODA committee. The only option which is left with the board is to accept the recommendations as they are without anything further. And joining us now live from Kolkata, consulting editor, sports, Borya Majumdar, who got us that first and exclusive interview with me here in the India Today studio, is resident cricket expert and former cricketer himself, Nikhil Chopra. Nikhil and Borya, thanks for joining us on this interview. It's already set the agenda right through to today, a day before the IPL, IPL Governing Council meeting. Borya? You know, that last question that you asked to Shashank Manohar, in many ways the most timely one, given that there is a huge amount of speculation about how the BCCI may actually try and look for ways around implementing the Lodha Committee recommendations. In the light of what Shashank, Shashank Manohar has said, a man reputed to be, you know, uh, you know, the, the cleanest, most, uh, the, the man with the highest integrity who has led the board so far, can the BCCI sidestep or you know deflect what the Lodha committee has actually said Borya no ship it won't it won't I mean I can tell you for a fact it won't because yesterday the meeting between Shashank and Mr. Dalmia lasted for about two and a half hours from 10 o'clock to 12 30 at night rather quarter to one and from what I understand from that meeting they are very clear the president and the former president are very clear that the BCCI will go ahead and implement the report so if I understand right Tomorrow in the meeting of the IPL Governing Council in Mumbai at 3 p.m., a four-member core group will be formed. And this group will be entrusted with the, uh, with the task of implementing the Lodha Committee and charting out the way forward. They are not going to challenge it. 
frankly they can't challenge it because the Supreme Court order says that only an aggrieved party, I mean BCCI is not an aggrieved party, unless it's an aggrieved party it's binding on them. So what they will now need to do is chart the way forward and implement it and that's what they will do. A four member subgroup or a core committee will be formed tomorrow which will be given the task of going ahead and implementing it. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, there's a lot of suspense about what's going to happen. But Borea, uh, you know, given the very, very unmistakable sort of unsparing words of a person like Shashank Manohar, and I want to bring Nikhil in on this. Nikhil, it's a Supreme Court committee. The Justice Loda Committee is a Supreme Court monitored and administered committee. The, the recommendations are meant to be binding. But isn't it because of you know the history of the manner in which the BCCI has either deflected recommendations Nikhil or you know tried to find ways out or you know handed out these these strange ill-timed clean chits to people like Gurunath Mayapan etc that there is this suspicion that they may be looking for a way out even now it, absolutely and Shiv, if you remember the apex court by themselves uh, gave the opportunity to the board the earlier regime yeah if I may call, call so that Clean up your house, otherwise we'll clean it up yeah. for you. That's why this uh, Loda committee was formed. And the unfortunate part is when you speak about the earlier disciplinary committee, when the initial arrest had taken place in this old match-fixing saga and the betting scandal, before the Mumbai police filed their charge sheet, a disciplinary committee was set up by the board yeah. and clean chits were given. So, so it all there, started there. Absolutely. And that's when I think the apex uh, court, uh, you know, uh, got a little angry and yeah. said you need to clean up the house and I believe and I'm, I'm sure Borea is right there in the thick of things but with this new regime of BCCI you know A. Anurag Thakur would of course hmm. put every possible step in the right direction to take Indian cricket forward because in the last so many years of the BCCI and the history of Indian cricket yeah. never a committee was formed to take cricketing decisions in terms of when you have people like Sachin Tendulkar, Saurav Ganguly, VVS Lakshman and Rahul Dravid yeah. being involved. Legends of the game were never involved. So at least with the new regime coming in, steps in the right direction are being taken. Okay. So you find that these committee findings are binding a yeah. lot. But at the end of the day, something yeah, positive is happening. Because the noises we've heard from people like Rajiv Shukla and Anurag Thakur are all very positive. The question is, uh, you know... When do they implement it? it? it the question, the, the proof of the pudding, finally, Borea, will be in the eating. And I think people have a right to be cynical about action being taken by the BCCI and its leadership. Given, you know, a, a history of almost unanimous lack of action, unanimous prevarication, obfuscation of recommendations of a similar or lesser nature, even in the past. But the specific question I want to ask you, Borea, is the question of N. Srinivasan. Because for the common cricket fan, the cricket fan out there, for people like all of us who cover these stories and report them, it appears that N. Srinivasan becomes more untouchable with each passing day. So, with a person like Shashank Manohar, uh, you know, of his stature now saying that this guy should have stepped down on moral grounds, also, uh, you know, Sundar Raman, you know, does that have any bearing? Are we going to see anything of that kind even happen now? Shift two parts to the question that you asked, you're absolutely right. You have every reason to be cynical. I mean, from what we've understood, every time the Supreme Court has thrown the BCCI an opportunity or, a, or, or sort of asked it to clean its house, it's come back saying, with a, you know, we, we'll be silent. It's stoic silence from the board unless its hand is forced. And now its hand has been forced. Frankly, what Shashank was telling me yesterday is that, look, the Supreme Court is doing the job of the board. We are disgraced. We have been shamed. Our back is to the wall. Unless we act now, people will not even give us, give us any kind of respect. This is our final opportunity. To quote him, off the record, he actually said, look, BCCI trying to examine is like saying, the hanging has been done. Do you want to examine the cops? It cannot be done. You've got to go ahead and implement the report. Yeah. Coming to Mr. Srinivasan, you know, you need 60 votes. That's what you need. You don't need two-thirds majority, three-fourths majority. The BCCI needs to pass a majority resolution that Mr. Srinivasan cannot represent the board in the ICC. Anurag Thakur had promised us that it will be done in September, that it will be, the BCCI will relook at it in September. Mr. Dalmia has mm. said the same thing. So we've got to wait and see in, in the next AGM what happens. But clearly, yeah. Sundar Raman's position is very, very uh, uh, precarious shape. From the Loda committee, if I understand, the next Loda committee report will give a very clear directive on Sundar Raman. All right, it's going to be a clear directive on 
on Sundar Raman. The big question, of course, is can the BCCI even afford, forget about what it's planning to do between now and the IPL Governing Council meeting tomorrow. It's about whether it can even afford to dilly-dally on these recommendations. It's no longer just about its image. It's also a question of legality and what happens going forward like Nikhil said with the new leadership of the BCCI which has given an open and public commitment that it will break from the past and actually start taking necessary action. Nikhil and Borya, brief discussion there but thank you very much for joining us on this story. We're getting reactions in. We're also going to open the phone lines in a short while from now for our callers and our viewers to tell us what they think about these recommendations and what the BCCI needs to do really to clean our cricket.